Hey everybody, it's me, Deanna. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming on with some project shares using bbcraft.com products. I am in a collaboration with them and I absolutely love their products. If you're not familiar with this website, I highly recommend that you check it out. And they have everything a crafter could ever want or need and at a price that is amazing. And if you use my discount code, you get 10% off your order. Or if you have a YouTube and 100 subscribers or more, then you can apply to become a collaborator with BB Craft. And they give you a lotted amount of money to pick out a couple project um, products that you show on your channel. You do an unboxing and two project share videos. And it's just a great way to be creative and just let your imagination go. So with that being said, let's jump right in. I picked up these tools. Um, every crafter or beater knows how important it is to have a good little set. I like the small. Um, I have all different sizes in my craft room, but I prefer these little ones just because they're just easy to manipulate. And then I picked out these Halloween charms and these are, I believe they're for wine glasses. Um, and they just have all different ones. So I'm going to take this one and show you how I modified it. And this is like a bat. And I really like that silver. Um, when I think of Halloween, I think more silvers than golds. So I like to work with silver once in a while, but they just have all kinds of charms. And, um... I just thought it would be really fun. I didn't know that these were already pre-made when I ordered them. So um, I thought that would be really fun to send to a couple of my friends who enjoy a nice glass of wine and love crafting Halloween. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. And then the next one is another Halloween, these spiders. I fell in love with these. You get a whole bag of them and they're just little silver spiders and I'm having so much fun creating with them. And a lot of people just look at them as a charm, but not so much. So, so I'm using those. So what I'm, the things that I'm using today are these jump rings with lobster clasps and I got this off bb.com and this is amazing it has every all the different sizes gold and silver and the quality is high quality highly recommend that um, some bags these are those cellophane bags they're a little bit bigger than what I wanted, but that's what I had in my stash. And some uh, Halloween little treat cards. So I got these off of Timu. Um, they just are really cute for some boo mail. And buttons. I love buttons. And any chance I get to create with buttons, I take it. I got this set off of Amazon and it was pretty inexpensive. And then I got this really cute little flag, black string or whatever you want to call it. But I love this. And some alphas. These are four, meter, four millimeters, the smaller size. You get a thousand pieces and I got these on sale for $1.49, regular $7.99. I would have bought them all if they had more and they last forever. So let's go ahead and jump in with my first project. Um, so talk about wine 
the wine rings. I created this witch and she's scary. Um, I just think she's just adorable. And I just think that this adds so much. You could add your friend's name or initials or nicknames. Um, I went with the Halloween theme. And then the next one I created, let's see if I can find it. And let's see here. Looks like I'm gonna need to tighten that up, but look how cute. I took one of the spiders and I put it on the hole because these are like earring hoops. So, um, so I just, I added eek to it and a silver spider. And I just think it just added so much to it. And I got one of my jump rings caught in him. So I'm gonna have to fix that. But I thought that's super cute. And then I thought I would just show you how easy it is to modify these. You just unhook it. I took off these beads. These are, um, like I said, pre-made. And then I'm gonna add the word, yikes. So you just make sure that your letters are the right way and that you spell it right. I'm known to just kind of throw them on and then it doesn't come out what it should be, but it is what it is. Now I try to be careful and cautious about that. Um, and there. So I just added the, the beads that came with it and yikes. And then I just close it back up. And if you want, you can add like a little bit of wax or something to make sure that if you're mailing it, it doesn't come apart. So there's that one. And I didn't even need my tools for that one. So that's a bonus. And then this is how I packaged them up. I took this, um, I got this off of Timu, um, so cute. And I put one of these cards in here. Here's a treat for you, happy Halloween. And if you turn it over, then there's their charm. And you can write a little personal note or put your little stamp and information on the back. Um, I didn't want to add my information for um, reasons of this video. So, super cute, love that. Then the next thing, I'm the spiders. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna show you this first project. This is a little fun dangle that I made and I previously had this in one of my videos for BB Craft, and I just added a spider, and it just adds so much to it. It brings out the silver, and so that's, just add them to anything fun, anything creative. Um, it doesn't have to be a dangle, like for an October daily or whatever. Just let your imagination go. So there's that one. And then I just got this acrylic charm in. I don't remember where, but I thought, oh my gosh, the colors just grabbed my attention. And so I wanted to add a spider since you see the spider webs and then my buttons to match the flowers on the side. How adorable. And I could keep going. I could add 
just some little four millimeters or two millimeters um, to add to it. But I just thought that this was just enough. It's simple. And let's see, I did use these little spacers and this also is a BB Craft product and they last forever. I'm constantly using them for just the simplest things. Let's see here, like in between the beads, just to add a little bit of silver. Um, and then here's some really tiny ones here. So that's just a must. And then the last project share I have for you, and this was really fun. And I happen to have this link, this chain in my stash. And I don't know where it came from. It probably came from like Michael's. Um, and I like to get things like that when I see them and I like to just put them away so that I have them for a, a project. Um, an unexpected project and that's what happened here. So I put the spiders here. I want to put like maybe a little black sea bead on a jumper in here and bring just bring out some black and I added these black ones again with the silver and another spider here and then I am undecided whether I like the silver lobster clasp or this big bulky black one and i'm kind of going with the the black one um let me know what you think which one you would pick i really would love your opinion but that's my bb craft um project share for this the a couple of the products i've picked out i will be back with another project share using dragonflies and bows and oh just all the goodness so um so stay tuned for that and i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll catch you on the next crafty video have a great day bye